Welcome back to the Stump Moving and Storage YouTube channel. As always, I'm Sean, and today I have a very special video for you. I'm going to show you how to put a piano into the back of a pickup truck. Today I have a GMC Sierra 1500 with a six and a half foot bed, and this technique is very easy. You only need a couple things. You'll need two moving pads, two rubber bands, a dolly, a four wheel dolly, and a 12 foot ramp, as well as an extra hand. If you guys like this video, if you learned something, please hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. The first thing you have to know when moving one of these pianos is where to pick it up from. So if you come around the back side, you can see that an upright piano comes equipped with a handle on both sides. So we have one here and we have one down here as well. Moving along to the front, we're going to show you exactly where to grip and lift. And we're going to cup our hand right up here on the lip. Do not touch these legs. These legs are very fragile and they will break. We want to take care when we lift so that this doesn't bump or wiggle or break. And we're going to do this on the opposite side as well. Now my partner Mike and I are going to lift the piano onto the dolly. We're going to pad it after doing that because we want you to see how to lift properly. Now typically we'll pad the piano before we do this, but just because I want you to see exactly how this is done, we're going to do it after. Now placing your front hand underneath and your back hand on that handle, we're going to bend our legs. Do not lift with your back, lift with your legs up and over onto the, the dolly. All right, now that the piano is on the dolly, you can see that we wanted to make sure it was centered. That way the weight distribution is equal. As you can see here, that's perfectly centered. If you come around to the back, this is another thing we want to show you guys here. It's flush. Now on the back end, that dolly is flush with the rear of the piano because if you load this into a typical box truck, we want to make sure it goes flush against the wall. Now we're going to go ahead and pad the piano. We're going to need three moving pads. Mike's grabbing them right now and we'll show you how to put them on. A quick side note for you guys, if you need anything to get this job done, go ahead and take a look in the description below. Right down there we have a catalog of all the materials that you need to perform this job. They are Amazon links, so they'll be shipped directly to you. No stress, and everything is listed right down there. Take your moving pad, unfold it, and then we're going to drape it over top of the piano, just like this. On one side, we're going to leave a little bit of excess, and we'll pick it up in the corner and pull it over, giving it a nice flush edge. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side here. Make sure that you don't have anything dragging and that the pad comes down to the bottom of the piano. That way the piano is completely protected, but it doesn't get caught in the dolly wheels. We don't want anything to trip us up as we're moving it up the ramp. Now we'll take the third and final pad, draping it over both. This one is really just to hold those other two in place and give it a little bit more protection on the front. And then we're going to take the two rubber bands that we have. We'll use the bigger one first. This will go down across the bottom. Here, Mike, go ahead. Pull it all the way down. All right, that'll hold that. It'll hold the pads around the base. And then we're going to do this other one here. It's a smaller, tighter one that will go around the top because it's narrower up top here and that holds all the pads in place. We're going to go ahead and move the piano out of the way now. We're going to grab that ramp and we're going to put it onto the tailgate of the truck. Let's get this out of the way and get that ramp. We want to make sure we put the tailgate down first here because you don't want to deal with carrying the ramp and putting the gate down at the same time. So we'll have this down. Just like that, we're going to get that ramp and we're going to put it right on the edge here. All right, this is an aluminum walk ramp by Magliner. They're the best in the business. We have this nice aluminum walk board that is 12 foot long, so it gives us this perfect transition up to the bed of the truck. You can see that transition is great. These walk ramps have traction for our feet though, so that we don't slip. We could get this job done with ease. Now we're going to go ahead and grab 
the piano and we're going to get it up into the back of the truck. Now for this we will need another person to help us remove the dolly because there is just not enough room here but getting it up the ramp we're just going to use two guys. Check it out. All right before we go up the ramp we want to make sure that we are completely straight and parallel center in the ramp and I'm going to place my hand right where we lifted before right here in that sweet spot. Do not pull on those legs. Those legs will rip right out of there. And my other hand is going to be on that handle. I'm going to give it a little lift using my legs, not my back. As we come up to the ramp, Mike behind me here is going to push as I guide. I want to pull straight. I don't want to pull up because if I pull up, I could tip the piano onto him. Just like this. Let's go. Lift up over that gap on the tailgate and then into the bed of the truck. Okay. From here, we're going to have a third person give us a hand just to remove the dolly because this is a tight working spot. Mike and I are going to lift the piano up as that third person grabs the dolly out from underneath. Okay, one, two, three. Set it down. Okay. Now that that dolly is out from underneath the, the piano here, we're done. We are going to have to secure this properly, but every truck is different and every manufacturer has different tie down points. So we're not going to get into that. You know your truck, you know what you're working with. Just make sure that it's done properly, safely and securely. The point of this video is just to show you how a professional would get a piano into the back of a pickup truck. and. As you can see, we needed just two people, a third to remove the dolly. But if you don't have a third person, there is a way to remove the dolly without hurting yourself or the pickup truck. What we're going to do is we're going to move the piano on the dolly over to the side. Just like that. With enough room in the front to take the piano off of the dolly. One, two, three, lift with your legs, not your back, and down. Okay. As you can see, the dolly has been removed. Now every truck and manufacturer is different, so you'll have different tie down points. We're not going to get into exactly how to do that because you know your truck, I don't. Just know that you have to have this piano secured and secured safely. Otherwise, it could damage your truck, it could hurt somebody else, or you could damage the piano, and we don't want any of that. We'll show you guys now how to remove it out of the back of a truck doing the same technique. We'll take the dolly, setting it down, making sure it is center on the piano. We're gonna lift it, put it on the dolly, and go back down the ramp. One, two, three. Okay, sometimes this happens. Place your foot on the dolly wheel, slide it over. Now we'll move the piano over a little bit. Okay. Place your foot right there at the wheel so it doesn't, the dolly doesn't move. Sliding the piano over. Perfect. Now we have a perfectly flush piano with the dolly. It is centered perfectly and we're going to take it out of the back of the truck. One thing you guys, I don't know if you were able to see it before. Obviously, there is a gap on the tailgate. We want to lift up and over top of that. You'll be able to see that right now. As we get out of the back of the truck, Mike will lift up and over that gap. There you go. You don't want to damage your truck. And then he needs a little lift to get onto the ramp and then down. Okay, now go ahead. The guy in the back is going to hold back for the guy in the front, work slowly down. Once you get down, you're gonna to wanna to lift up just a little bit in the back so you don't cheese grade. And cheese grading is if the piece of furniture or the piano would ever touch this corrugated edge. We don't want that rough surface that gives us traction on the walkboard to damage the piano. As you can see, even though this edge is padded, it can still catch if you're not careful and we don't want that to happen. That's why we give it just a little lift, not enough to throw it off balance for the guy in the front, 
just enough to make sure the piano stays safe. And that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching the video. If you liked it, if you learned something, please hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And if I have any industry professionals out there watching this video, if you're looking for a career change, we are hiring and we'd love to have you on our team. Go ahead and take a look at our website. I have it linked in the description below. Also, you can click and tap the screen right now. It'll take you over to our website. From there, navigate to the career section. You can see what we're hiring for and go ahead and email us. Drop us a line, we'd love to hear from you. And until next time, thanks for watching.